Okay. I'm getting the impression things are about to get serious. Okay, we've got a bit of a... That's the way back. So I've got a bit of a maze kind of situation. Can we go in there? Oh, hey. Got like one final hurrah in like every area that we've been to so far. This would be pretty cool. Gravity doesn't really work against these guys. And Goof got well in there, didn't he? That all of them? Okay, all of them for now. Very gem. I don't mind those guys so much, they're not as difficult to take on. In comparison to like those big guys where you have to kind of like dodge around them and get around the back, so... Thunder gem, okay. Looks like we're getting gems, like one of each gems it seems. That's like the idea here. Going to each location and let's come backwards. Nope.
No. <laughs> It's really annoying, like the, I think I need like that ability. I think I put it on either Donald or Goofy. There was that ability where you can, um, enemies can't stop your cure. That was like a taco sauce, which is why you thought that if you ate the soup with nacho chips would be pretty a good idea. I can imagine like something, I mean, like, we, we tend to like have like, I guess it's not just a British thing, but you know, I always have like bread or something with soup or croutons or something just to have good like, croutons are nice because you get that little like crunch and I guess that's what you got with your um, like nachos. Sometimes it's nice just to like mix up your textures and do something a little bit different. But you know what? Like I always say, there's no rules with food. Food is all about kind of experimenting and seeing what you can do, what you can come up with. I answer a chest here. It's over there. Cross gem. Hey, hypes. What's going on? We're on this bit of uh, area gauntlet at the minute, which I'm quite enjoying. Nothing's really uh, giving us too much trouble tonight. I've had a couple of like silly deaths, but good to actually like, just have like this area and like actually replay against like all the heartlets that you've played in the game. I can't really enjoy it. Wow, where did all that money come from? Okay, I see where the money came from. I've never seen that. I didn't see that before when I was in this area. I didn't know that you could, like, slip on a banana skin and lose all your money. That's, uh, well, not all your money, but lose a good chunk of money. That was interesting. Yeah. Aladdin, Aladdin. You know what would been really cool in like this as well though? This area would have been really cool if you could have like played as like the, the character that you met in this area as part of your party joined you. That would have been pretty cool. I kind of guess though, like all the. Oh, not really, guys. I kind of guess like these are representing like the portals of where we. A, we've kind of sealed and what that. Where the Heartless are using to like get to each of the worlds, I guess. Crazy's here. What's going, Crazy? Welcome, welcome. Oh, no. 
That's how we deal with those guys. Okay, so where is the chest? This one's a bit more hidden, it seems. I don't know if I answered you crazy, but I'm well, thank you. Hope you're well too. Your Friday has been a good one. Where have they sneakily put this? Uh, I did not, no. I had a quick go at the um, Hercules Cup, because I haven't done the Hercules Cup yet. Um, so yeah, I had a go at that one, and we got to Hercules, but we just ran out of um, MP right at the... Uh, we ran out of health right at the end. We was very close to doing that one, so... Uh, but no, I haven't tried the question mark up yet. Just kind of like a real quick break before uh, deviation, before I then headed back to main story so what traversing like through these this area is a lot easier now I've got the, uh, the glide mechanic crazy where's the chest where did I miss the chest Alright, we'll give it a go. I, yeah, I've been really enjoying this game crazy. I'm glad I finally took the time to play it. And I'm uh, looking forward to jumping into the rest of the series as well. Okay, so like without to like like without spoilers, is there is a chest in this area, right? And it would be pretty stupid if there wasn't a chest. I say without spoilers. I mean, I've pretty much explored the whole area and not found anything. So, I mean, I guess I can always come back through the. Or the, the portal, right? I'm going to give it another go, just to see. Kind of feels a bit inconsistent, given that there's, like, been a chest in everyone, but it really doesn't look like there's anything here, so I guess not. Alright. Moving on. faster than flying. I really shouldn't be flying. Oh, 
Oh no, it's my. F it's the worst area in the game for me. We had to come back here. I'd like literally forgotten about this area. Now it's all come flooding back. I think it is because I'm so used to like pressing square uh, not square pressing um, pressing X like attack and because you can't really do that here it, sorry I'm, I'll rephrase I think what it is is I'm so used to um, pressing square to roll and you can't roll in this area Donald Duck being an octopus reminds you you need to cook some octopus someday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is the second game. Crazy. Get out of there as fast as we can. I like that we get the crazy costumes here as well. I think it's like a really cool gimmick though, like to have most like games or RPG games would have kind of like a, a boss rush, but to have like a, an like an enemy rush where it kind of feels like we're got to take on every single enemy that we've faced so far in the game. It's pretty freaking, it's a pretty cool concept. Especially when like some of them have like little quirks and things and it's like you got to try and remember how to deal with them. Lucid gem. Uh, where are we going out here? Boogie boogie. Where are you going? Ultima weapon on Kingdom Hearts 3. Congrats. Uh, it is on PC, yes. You can get on PC. But yeah, only through the Epic Games Store. It's uh, Hypes is rightly said. We 
I guess you're gonna climb up there. Where's, uh, where's Goofy? That's a pretty easy area. I guess there's not really a lot of... To be fair, though, there wasn't a lot of um, enemies in that area. It wasn't a very particularly big area, was it? Is that, like, his ultimate weapon? The most powerful shield. Yes. All right. So now I just need to find the most powerful keyblade, right? Just saying. Also, I just need to find my way out. Uh yeah. It's so green and shiny. We're getting to different colors now, though. Oh, no. Wow, we got a Mega Elixir. Is that it? Save point. You know what that means. Did I just save? Yeah, I did. Checking the times. All right, so um, before we head in any further, then just want to check. There is a that is like there, isn't it? Yeah. Whew. Just want to make sure because some of them sometimes you can go to those and they're um, they don't take you to where you think you're going to end up. Yeah, I'm different. I don't, know, I, I don't know if there's like a different taste here. I've never had octopus, but I've had squid, like in calamari. All right, we're going to have one attempt at this, just as a bit of a, an interlude before we head in. Sephiroth! No! The one winged angel himself. Do we get do we get the epic Sephiroth theme? That would be freaking We do. Cloud comes in with a buster sword and just like kills him straight away. Oh, this version's epic. Um. Um. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, so close. How many frickin' health bars has he got? Yeah, um... I'm out. 
Oh dear God. Meanwhile, back in the land of normality. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm used to like the super boss concept. Um, man, I don't even know where to start with that. That's crazy. You see, I've had like calamari and stuff and like squid before. I just I don't know about like the whole eating the tentacles with the suckers and everything. Don't know about that, Nefarious. Kind of puts me off a little bit. All right. We have reached the end of the world. That leaves us with one more spot to go. There is no turning back. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. I need a drink. the wrong dude. It's a load of freaking health there as well. this game nice Are we turn into portal all of a sudden once born of the heart and darkness devoid of hearts ravage all worlds and bring desolation seize all hearts and consummate the great consummate the great heart all hearts to be one one heart to encompass all realize the destiny the realm of kingdom hearts the great darkness sealed within the great heart Progony of darkness, come back to the eternal darkness, for the heart of light shall unseal the path. Seven hearts, one keyhole, one key to the door. The door of darkness, tied by two keys. Door of dark darkness to seal the light. None shall pass, but shadows returning to the darkness. Ones born of the heart and darkness, hunger for every heart until the dark door opens. That wasn't fair. I wasn't ready for that. That's not fair. I'm telling my mummy. I guess I can't go through the portals. Thought maybe there was going to be a spin off then for a minute and I'd end up in Aperture Science. Down we go. Stop.
Oh no, I almost paid attention. Man, that I don't know, that um a little too easy. I don't know. I'm not gonna get carried away just yet, but To be fair, it's very. I find it's very similar to like the Ursula fight, where it's just kind of like you try to get, get round to the back and do the best you can. And trust me, I spent like two and a half, three hours on the Ursula fight because I really struggled with that. So I am more, I am more than um, um, what's the word? I'm more than practiced in this one. Uh, I really don't know what's going on with Destroyed Aperture. I've kind of distanced myself from the project, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, there's there's not like a lot of chat going on. Um, I think people people like got very busy doing their own kind of things. Um, Desolation, on the other hand, I'm sure is ticking away quite nicely because they've got some fantastic guys on that project. Never say never, though, Proterius. I mean. I am looking forward to Talos too, though. I'm trying to stay away from as much stuff as I can. I need to I got like extremely lucky on that first attempt I think um I need to kind of pull back a little bit more when he's like charging up that fire attack definitely I can't, you, you cannot get away if you get trapped in that fire. Well, yeah, because um, at the end of the day, like you can, if, if you were to watch videos and then you like share the videos and like, um, well, I'm, I know you're probably not social media, but if you can like say, oh, I, I watched this video, this gameplay and, you know, watching their channel will obviously help to promote it on YouTube algorithms and different bits and pieces for various. So yeah, even if you don't play things, don't think that you're not supporting them just because you are not playing the game. Away, Sora. Okay, I see what's happening now. I thought the fire was coming out of its mouth, but it's coming out of the volcano. Uh, which one prefer um, pipes?
So for anybody that's like not been around for too long, I was um I yeah, I, I was involved in um destroyed aperture in the in the early days. Um so yeah, for for anybody who kinda of like is relatively new to the, the channel and doesn't really know my background, um I pretty much built this this channel on uh, Portal 2. Um, so yeah, Portal 2 and Desolation, they're both... I don't think... Desolation hasn't been um, greenlit on Steam. Like uh, Destroyed Aperture has. Which is probably why you can't find it, Hypes. If you look on ModDB, it's... Um, it is listed on mod DB. But yeah, I was predominantly a Portal 2 player. So I built my like, YouTube channel and this this community originally. Yeah, we, um, wasn't that long ago that we actually played through Half-Life. You tried the port mob with the third portal and the one. And the one there was a time, yeah. That, that was um, that only came out last year, I think. They just recently released uh, an update, like a co op update to that as well, which is uh, I've not got around to trying yet. Um, but yeah, there's some really good um, Portal 2 mods out there. You um. Do fancy playing some port too? There is a uh, thinking, thinking with time machine is not the best mod, but it's a um, can I miss the can I miss the I didn't read his cue very well there, did I? Uh, yeah, they've got Thing with Time Machine, which is like uh, portals with a time machine, which is interesting. I mean, the, the the idea is good. It just, the story just wasn't executed very well, unfortunately. Um, you've got Portal Stories Mel, which is regarded as probably one of the best um, Portal 2 mods, which is actually tells the story of, it's a fan-made mod, but it tells the story of um, what happened between Portal 1 and 2. Which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, trying to think of some other ones that are out there at the minute. I've played so many mods, it's ridiculous.
that was the wrong person. Of course, I went in. Ah, uh, yeah, there's um, Portal DBT edition. That's interesting. <laughs> There's a reason I forgot it, um, Furious. Flies coming from in my room, jeez. Yeah, there's a reason, like I said, there's a reason I forgot that uh, for Furious. <laughs> that is just like, so a friend of ours in the community remade uh, Portal 1. It's basically just a big troll mod. Pretty much, it's Portal 2, but on steroids in terms of difficulty and stuff. It's just absolutely insane. Fly away, fly away. It's going to do it, right? It's not very nice, Mr. Anson. Assuming this is Anson. Dead, dead. Oh, they saved me. What a time for them to be alive. Kicked it up a notch. Oh, of course you're going to do that now. You jerk. You jerk.
Oh, <laughs> I get suckered in every time. Come on. Come on, knock. Is that the playlist? Uh, the videos? Various? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I not dead? Go hypes with the subscribe at the something something. I don't know what's going on. All my alerts and everything have packed up. Hypes, thank you very much for the subscribe. Seems like a bit of a um, bit of repeat. Oh, it's YouTube. What? Why, why have I got YouTube notifications on Twitch? I don't. Oh well. Not sure what's going on there, but I appreciate the uh, subscription on you. I appreciate the YouTube subscribe again. I was like, what's what's? I was like, I'm sure you subscribed in the last stream. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to load. Continue. That last like segment, like when you're like down to like one and a half health bars left on that on on the boss here, he kind of like ramps up his attacks. I just I don't know. I just can't stop getting caught out, and it's, it's a little bit annoying, but. Run away! Run away!
Run away, Sora! Ah! No. <laughs> oh. Well, that was it then. I thought I thought we had it. I thought that was the run. back volcano attack Are you for real i call hacks Done it again. It was just like I don't know. It didn't feel like there was a a build up to that attack. You twitch bro, Perfirius. Not good. It's like I've got. I feel like I've got pretty good at like reading that volcano attack. But yeah, there's just something about that that attempt there. He just, I don't know, just didn't seem to have a build up to it, and it just. I think what it is as well, I kind of, I think I like gave myself a false sense of like, because like I got quite lucky in that. Be volcano, isn't it? Yeah, because I like really got lucky in that first attempt. I think it kind of like gave me a false, like reading a difficulty on this. Yeah, man, Aero, Aero helps, for sure. That was a great shout. I don't know why I stopped casting it, to be fair. Come <laughs> on. 
Focus. Focus, Noxon. Ferris, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your soup if you've got any left, and uh, I will hopefully catch you next time. Thanks for hanging out, appreciate it. Oh, I was trying to get wind off. Wind wasn't firing. I feel like I did pretty well there, though. I think I got to like three health bars down without even taking a bit any damage from him then, so. Keep on trucking. <laughs> 